Hello, Zebra Herd. In today's episode of Splatoon 3, we are doing tricolor battles in the Ice Cream Splatfest. Will we be able to get some tricolor wins for Team Mint Chip? Let's find out together. So here we are with the tricolor battle. As you can see, it is Barnacle and Dime, which we played a little bit of last episode just with normal turf war, but now we have tricolor. This will be pretty cool because it's one of the newest maps added to the game to see it um, in this tricolor form will be really fun. All right, our first round here of tricolor turf war. We're on the attacking team, so we get a 1.5 times bonus. All right. So we're teaming up with Team Strawberry to take on Team Vanilla, who was winning the first half. So if we can find a way to turn this around, we were in second place when it comes to, you know, the sort of the count up halfway through. So maybe there is a way to make this a win for us. For right now, we gotta cover up our turf over here. Of course, it is two versus one, but they have the larger team. So we'll have to see how it all sort of pans out in the end. Right now though, it is definitely a crazy fight. I'm gonna toss that auto bomb over there and the ultra signal has appeared. So I'm gonna launch some of those decoys over as soon as possible and then try to get it. There we go, I got it. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to keep it for very long. A strawberry player actually was the one who got me. Maybe not the best situation. <laughs> okay, cover this turf then. We'll have to work a lot with our teammate if we wanna get out there and actually get that stuff covered and you know, get what we need to get. So. Let's get over here. I did see somebody over here. Um, I need to be able to splat. Oh, I see you behind me too. A little too much. I was not expecting my teammate to jump over to me either. So a little bit too much there, but we are technically in the lead. Oh, ultra signal appeared. Nobody was able to get it quite yet. It's been quite the fight out here. I want to get out this way then. Here. Let's get over here. I'm tossing that auto bomb over. If I could splat some competitors, that'd be great. Um, you know what? We're doing this then. I'm getting up here like this. Oh, come on. Come on. I can't get up. That was so weird. Come on. Can I get it? Can I get it? Yes, we do. That was some great teamwork. All right. They were able to defend me as I was trying to grab it. We're now at 36%. So we're jumping up here in percentage quite a lot. They're really going to make that difficult for us now, but I think we can make this work for sure. So if I get out here, start covering up some of this, that feels pretty good. Um, but it looks like there's some opponents out this way too. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> got a little bit too close to Team Strawberry. I almost had my decoy launcher though, and it looks like the other team got the ultra signal. So it's between us and them, the chances of Team Vanilla have just gone down really loud. So that's great to see. I do see way over here. You, so I'm able to get you, but then somebody else was able to get me. Not so good with that. We're currently with the NZAP 89, which is a fun weapon, but not always my best weapon. Come on, head back out there. Right now we're in the lead, but how long can we keep that is the big question. Um, I'm tossing that auto bomb over there for now, and I see you over here. Um, gonna launch that over like that. I'm so sorry, Team Strawberry, but I think this is where I'm gonna try to take the win, um, if I can. Um, I didn't get any of those spots, actually. That's okay. I go over here, I toss the auto bomb. They are really trying to run up on me at the moment. Oh no, whoa, okay, that was my teammate. So far, so good, actually. Come on, I got that splat. That was actually pretty big. But can I get either of you? No, I can't. My teammate, though, going so crazy on them that we jumped up to 40%. I'm gonna jump over to you. Uh, they are playing really, really well here. So, come on, got that over there. I'm covering up whatever I can. I'll get over here, too. Come on, come on, that was a big splat. I think we're able to get the win here. Our teammate was so crazy good with that ink brush. Really cool to see that. I definitely think we got the victory here. Boom, yep, 41%. That is a really dominant victory and we get the three gold medals, but they did fantastic. I feel like, you know, they were able to sort of manage the team a lot, especially when we grabbed the one ink jet. That was really cool. So technically a victory for both of us, but definitely a victory for us. So really cool to see that. And we get some extra experience here. I don't know if we'll quite get out of our current ranking. We'll look at all of this. We get the attack bonus here, going all the way up to almost halfway through Mint Chip Defender. I wanna keep going one more round with this weapon before we switch over to something else. I feel like I might just wanna to go to the Golden Aerospray, the Aerospray RG. Haven't played that, the Splatfest just yet, so that might be fun. Okay, so another Tricolor Turf for this time still in the attacking team. So if we could get another bonus here, that'd be amazing. 
teaming up, teaming up with Team Strawberry again. I think that's probably gonna be the pretty common thing we end up seeing here. It looks like Team Vanilla has some accomplished players. It looks like we have the same teammates, so it's probably the same setup here. If I could just focus on covering turf and such, I'm sure they'll be a little bit more focused on getting their splats, which is totally fine with me. Feels like a pretty good synergy, for sure. Getting up here, trying to get some of that covered up, and the Ultra Signal has appeared, so it might be a good time just to launch some of those out. Throw that auto bomb over in that direction, and whoa, I feel like I went past that, but I guess not. All right, well, that's not so good. Um, but we're heading back out. And I want to cover all of this stuff up. Okay, maybe put that out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're really trying to chase me down here, but you know what, I'm gonna be sneaky with it and go back around here. And then I thought I'd have enough ink for the auto bomb. <laughs> I did not. So that was maybe just dragging out some time, but it's okay. They have a bunch of super jump spots over there that we really have to deal with. I don't know how they have three of them like that. It's pretty crazy. Whoa, okay, you were just waiting for me forever. This is a little bit too much so far, but it's okay. We have plenty of time here. Try, try to grab those ultra signals. But that time does tick down fast, so a much more difficult round. I'm able to splat that one. Splatana wiper player, but I'm a little scared of what's going on over there. Um, Hoping they don't notice me. Oh, they don't notice me. So that's a huge splat right there. We need to get rid of these things. And then I put this down. I go up here like this, and I'm able to maybe get it. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. I launched the stuff, but yeah, I guess it just takes a while to get it over there. Okay, I'm gonna jump over. Our, our other team lost it. And then I'm throwing the auto bomb down. I can't really do too much more than that, but maybe oh, not quite able to get them. It is a ice cream delicious mess going on here in this splat fest. All sorts of Tasty ice cream colors flying all over the place, but with one minute remaining and none of the teams getting the ultra signal, it is just definitely a bit worrisome. Okay, I was able to spot somebody somehow. Uh, I'm not really sure how, but you know what? I might just try to grab this really quickly and they might not even be able to notice, so that's a huge grab right there. Um, hi, I'm so sorry, but that's gonna be a trade spot, but we're able to get the ultra signal. This is maybe our chance to turn things around then. With 30 seconds remaining, we're able to keep this whole area super clean. I'm gonna toss that over that way. Um, ooh, I'm gonna just do this, launch that over. And like, I could get the ultra signal again. I'm more focused on getting splats and getting out there, just getting that stuff covered. I don't know if that's really gonna change too much right now. We are winning. Teammate going for the ultra signal. Uh, it was almost there though. It was a good try for sure. I'm getting up here. I'm just getting turf covered wherever I can and just hope that that's enough. It doesn't seem like they noticed me quite yet. Okay, they're over there, they're trying to get me. We got over a thousand points of turf covered, but like, is this enough? Will we get another mint chip win? It looks pretty close, but Vanilla might have taken it from us. Oh, we got it again. Actually, Vanilla was in the minority of both teams. Okay, very cool. We're able to get another win here. We're making quite the crazy duo, so I'm definitely glad to see that. Definitely enjoy a win streak here in Tricolor Battles because it means just extra multipliers and stuff like that. I do think it might be time though for me to change my weapon, if I can. Ooh, we're almost at catalog level 20. We do get a new sticker that we'll get from the lobby later on. 13,000 clout in total, or yeah, added to our total there. And now we're just about halfway through Minship Defender. So let's change our gear. I want to switch to the Golden Arrow Sprite if I can find it right over here with the Booyah Bomb and everything. I think this would be pretty nice to throw right on top of the uh, the inkjet or whatever it is. We're back here on Barnacle and Dime. I keep on expecting it to switch between this map and something else, but nope, it'll be pretty consistent, just this map every time. So really the setup won't change, but hopefully along with that, our win streak won't change either. I guess we'll have to wait and see. The air spray though will definitely be a good weapon to uh, cover up turf, turf with. I think once again, we have the same teammate. They have the same weapon, so. Seems like a pretty good way to start this. But as I asked last episode, I would love to hear, you know, how your experiences were with this Splatfest. I know by the time that this video probably releases, unfortunately the Splatfest will be over, but I hope you had a good time with it. All right, other team going for the Ultra Signal. I'm trying to cover this stuff up. There we go. Good Splat there. And it looks like 
They're gonna be landing right over here. So that's another easy spot for us. Our teammates jumping over. So you know what, now might be a good time to get you right there. Do this and then grab this. I don't know, I might get splatted. Oh, it was close. I probably should have focused on the Booyah Bomb first. That probably would have been better, but I don't know, I got excited. All right, I definitely wanna get some of that stuff. Clean up over here, because we're fighting for the lead, but this can really go either way around here. So, I get out this way, I, oh, come on, I tried to do the Booyah Bomb. I swear I've been in that situation in reverse and they get invincible way sooner. I don't know. Proving to be difficult so far. I will throw out the sprinkler in probably the worst spot possible. Um, there is this stuff flying everywhere right now though. Um, I will get over to this side and then right when they're trying to cause me issues, I'm just going to unleash it like that. I know they're trying to get me. They're really trying to get me. I'm gonna try to grab it, but I don't think that was a good idea. I feel like what I really need to do is throw the Booyah Bomb so that my teammates can grab it. All right. The Ultra Sun. I don't know, I've been calling it the Ink Jet recently. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a little jet to me. Okay, and back up here again, and I know that they're following me. Ah, oh, come on, I really need to get that spot. I was sort of squished up against the wall. This is looking like a rough round so far, but this is sort of the situation we were in last time, wasn't it? So maybe it'll be okay. I'm gonna toss it over there. And just try to get some turf covered. Whoa, whoa. I thought that they would keep moving the one direction. They didn't, but it's okay. Because now we just go with Booyah Bomb. And then I just deploy it like that. And then just try to grab it. I can't believe they spotted me so quickly. We were able to get one player with that, but I don't even know where Team Stronger is. I feel like I've barely seen them. I don't know if this is really working, but we could still win without the um, Ultra Signal. We gotta keep that in mind. Um, ooh, don't get popped by that. Gotta be really careful there. Um, maybe chase you down. Maybe be a bit more careful than that. Oh, hi. <laughs> I did not see you there. Yikes. We're really fighting for the extra little bit of per percentage. I can only hope that, you know, Team Strawberry can help from, like, both sides in that way. Um, come on, come on, come on. Get back out this way. Just cover up turf. I'm so sorry, Team Strawberry, but I just need to cover stuff up. I don't know who won at this point because nobody got the Ultra Jet or whatever it is. So it's probably... Team Vanilla, unfortunately, yeah, they're able to get the win here, but it was a close one, all within 1% of each other. Ah oh, man, maybe it wasn't a good idea to go to end zap, but I feel like I did play better. I feel like I got more turf coverage, I did get more spots, we just couldn't really synchronize some other things. Uh, that's okay, it happens sometimes, it can be really difficult to get out there. Two wins and one loss certainly isn't bad, and we still get three gold medals here, so overall we're racking some things up, we get a catalog level up, and with it another conch, or whatever they are. Okay, we'll get there, little bits at a time. So, can we bounce back a little bit or will this be the thing that balances out our wins and losses? We'll have to wait and see. This time we're teamed up with Team Vanilla going against Team Strawberry. Was not expecting that. Our uh, previous opponents have turned teammates in a way, but that's all right, we'll go out here. And that's where I get a little concerned. I feel like I have we have a higher chance, at least you know, with our current experience. I don't know if we've lost the Team Strawberry yet between this episode and last episode. So I think at this rate, I'm more so concerned about Team Vanilla beating us here than Team Strawberry. I'll have to wait and see if that's actually gonna be the case. But for right now, I can at least, yeah, help splatting you. Get out this way, throw that Booyah Bomb right about here. And I know that they're gonna cause me some issues. Maybe I can get a splat or two, who knows? Gonna get this right here. I might get Booyah Bomb, we're gonna see ya! We lost it just barely though. If I could have held it for just an extra moment, I think that would have been it. What I really need to do is try to synchronize with my teammate to make sure that they can get that while I put the Booyah Bomb right on top of there. Um, okay, getting back out here. I'm throwing that over this way. Whoa, watch it. I'm not able to line my shots up super well with that one. I don't know, this is definitely going to be tough. I might want to equip some better gear next round. That might be something that can help, because it seems like the competition is really rough now, so any kind of advantage I can take would be fantastic. I do see some stuff happening over here. I can't believe you found me so easily. That was a little frustrating, but ugh. other team got the ultra signal, so this is exactly what I was afraid of. Team Vanilla already getting ahead of us again. Our rivals in this splat fest, it feels. Okay, I'm running over here. I'm spotting this, never mind. Okay, that was bizarre. They were just standing there, then I shot them, and boom, just disappeared. Okay. Keep it going. So far, Team Strawberry's still in the lead. 
We can turn this around, can't we? Go back over here, try to land on top of you. Good splat there. Other team going for the ultra signal. And it looks like they're gonna get two of them. I can't believe that. All right, well, really not good for us, but doesn't mean it's impossible to win. It just means it's gonna be a miracle for us to win. I can't really get up there. I might just have to switch to something longer range. I don't know if it's gonna work here. It just feels like things are not going so well ever since I switched to this path. So maybe I need to go back to the end zap or just try something similar. I mean, usually the air spray is all the range I need, but not this time. Okay, here's team Vanilla trying to give me problems. Okay, you know what? Okay, you splat them, I'll splat you. Cover up all of this stuff. And then, yep, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna throw a Booyah Bomb right over there. But it seems like, oh no, oh, come on. They got me with that Trizuka. Yikes. This just feels like a mess all around. It's so hard for us to keep ahead of double, um, whatever they're called. Okay, getting over here. Ooh, I got them, but then they got me. <laughs> My gosh, and now they're at 40% of yeah, you. They got a major coverage here. Vanilla is always just so darn good. So hard to keep up with. I guess I gotta switch back to something else because this is now two losses here with the arrow spray. Just not making things happen that I needed to. I was trying to make it work with the Booyah Bomb, but I don't know. For whatever reason, didn't go as well. So we'll try a different weapon, I think. I mean, it's still technically a win, but I think it might be more points for Team Vanilla than it is us. I'm not really sure how these work, but I can only imagine. Another round of arrow spray because I forgot to change the weapon. <laughs> That's okay though. It looks like, ooh, I think this might be, yeah, a mint chip showdown. I can tell by the colors. Interesting, so it doesn't really matter who wins this one, but we are a team of four now, so. That's interesting, yeah, everybody give each other a hello, a booyah. We're all a fan of the same ice cream flavor here. None of us can go wrong. All right, heading back up here then. I would love to hear though, are you maybe a secret supporter of some other ice cream flavor? Obviously, we have some selections here. I know a lot of people are a big fan of chocolate and chocolate's not an option for this one. So maybe you do have an ice cream flavor that's your favorite that's not quite available here. Okay, try to get over here. Ah, it didn't quite work out. But yeah, I feel like when I do want ice cream, I typically like want like a chocolate ice cream with like peanut butter in it or something. I feel like that's always a good flavor. Okay, these guys are really trying to get me here and they're doing a good job. I'm gonna try it right away, but it's much too late. Very unfortunate. They're trying for the ultra signal and it looks like, oh, they're disrupting each other. May the best team mint chip fan win. Right now, it looks like it's us. If we can just keep defending that um, ultra signal. Winning over here, it looks like, oh no, they're right over this way. I'm gonna try to splat them, and I'm able to do it. Time for the Booyah Bomb then, and I will toss it right over there, right on top of you. How do you like that one? Then I will get over here too. Ooh, where do you think you're going? Somehow that didn't splat you. Okay, I thought like I just needed a few more shots there, I suppose. So far we're winning, but for how long will that stay? As they almost, yeah, they do get the Ultra Signal there, the purple team does. A little unfortunate. Oh, here comes that Booyah Bomb too. Really doing a number on us. Okay, that's good. Again, over here. Oh, that was actually the second Ultra Signal. I didn't even realize. Okay, that means the Team Purple here is really trying to take the lead. I'll toss that way over there. And yeah, just try to give them a hard time over here if not anything else. So as you can see, it fills up fast. It's really a big fight to keep ahead of something like this, especially when the other team is trying to also remove our influence in a way. Darn, yeah, Aerospray is not working for me on this map at all. Which is sort of a shame because it's definitely like one of my best weapons. Personally, I think so. Uh, but I just can't make anything happen here too much. Okay, cover up this stuff and then as soon as I'm in trouble, time for Booyah Bomb. And I'm actually gonna toss it like way out there. And then I know that I'm probably yeah, gonna be in trouble again. That's okay is we need to fight Team Purple. Let's cover this stuff up as much as I can. I know they're after me. Come on, can I get you, can I get you? Yes, but it took me a while. Uh, Come on, go, go, go. Get this there. 
cover this stuff up and maybe, just maybe, we can find a way to turn this around. Who knows, who knows? I would hope so, but it, it's difficult against two of these ultra signals. I don't know. Because the blue team was covering us up there too. It looks like purple takes the lead. Yikes. So that's definitely tough. We did what we could with it though, it just wasn't quite there. See, now we're at two wins and three losses technically, but it's still a win for Team Mint, so I'm not gonna complain about this one, but I definitely gotta change my weapon this time, because this is just like more proof that the aerospray is just not working for me here. So we'll change our gear up a bit and see what better we can do. There's gotta be something we can improve upon, but slowly getting through Mint Chip Defender. Okay, changing our gear for the weapon. Uh, what do I wanna do instead? We go a couple of slots in. I'm sure there's some more classic weapons here I can really make the most out of. Uh, I think, I'm running out of time, but I might just wanna do something more like, hmm. You know, let's do the splatter shot. Let's do a classic splatter shot. I'll change the snorkel gear too, to be something more like, Maybe just something with full slots for now. Just that way I can make the most out of it. So there we go. Got these cool glasses. We're heading back into the action. Okay, so let's see how the results happen this time. Got a different weapon, different scenario. We're teamed up with Team Strawberry again. So this is our chance. Oh, they do have a scary setup there. Three arrow sprays. Might be a little too much for us, but maybe we can make this work. Really just depends. First up, of course, we gotta get the home base covered up, especially since the Ultra Signal hasn't popped up just yet. I'm gonna be throwing out Booyah Bombs already. I'll be able to get the Trizook out here in just a second. I'm gonna cover up as much of this as I can. The Ultra Signal has now appeared, so I will get out here like this and then fire. Oh, I see somebody over that way. Maybe I could get them. I didn't quite. I'm tossing this over then. Ooh. I'm a little nervous. Oh, wait, wait, no, oh, come on. Uh, I gotta keep back a little bit. I don't know. I'm hoping that this, this weapon choice was a good idea, but we'll just have to wait and see. The suction bomb isn't always the best weapon, um, in my opinion. I've had some mixed experiences with it most because it's so expensive. Okay, they're really pushing in on me. I'm able to get one splat though, so maybe I could get up this way. Um, try to bring the chase over to here, um, as it looks like. And we got some players over this fight. Come on, come on, come on. Can I get anybody anything with this? No, I can't. Jeez, that was tough. Team Strawberry getting really pushed in because they have double duelies, and I guess that might be a hard time for them. Um, get some of this stuff. And then I'll toss that suction bomb over. This is proven to be tough for sure. Time for another one. Oh, I got somebody. That's, I got two. Nice. Might be my most successful tries we get ever. I'm trying to get around this corner, but there's just so many players against us. We lost the ultra signal immediately after all that. I don't know, this is proving to be tough. Maybe just the air spray not covering up. I'm at the air spray, sorry. The, uh, just the splatter shot, not covering up as much as I needed to. Okay, you're gonna really throw that on me? I wouldn't think so, but you know, if you wanna be really, Really volatile with it, I guess you could do that. We're able to get a spot on you, but look at how much turf they have covered. They have the triple arrow spray and everything's just perfect for them. Oh my goodness. I mean, so far we had the most success with the end zap. Like maybe I just need to go back to that. Okay, get you over here. A I able to outrange you, but then everybody else just closes in. Team Strawberry is struggling with every moment. Okay, teammates going for it, but I just, not out there to support them, so it makes it really difficult. Okay. He needs jumping over and throwing that suction bomb. We're fighting against the clock here. If I could just, come on, launch a couple of shots over that way, maybe that can do something for us. I do see a couple of players over here. Come on, got that one splat. It's not enough, it's just, ah, uh, four versus two in a way. You know, it's just really, really challenging. But maybe, I mean, Team Strawberry getting a surprise sort of comeback over there. Maybe if we can just rush out here, we can use that pressure to our advantage to maybe take something, I don't know. Rough, really rough. But, uh, I mean, maybe towards the end? Nope, Team Vanilla was able to win yet again. They are just too good. Oh my goodness, so that was a rough round. I thought they got super lucky with the triple arrow sprays. Just how do you fight against that? Even with good range, they're just able to cover so much turf. So we'll go another round here with the splatter shot before maybe I just go back to the end zap. If that's what we were winning with, then maybe I shouldn't change it. 
So can we get a win with the splatter shot this time? I'm a little bit worried, but actually I think we're defending this time. Okay, that's good. The last time we were defending, it was just against other mint chip players. So maybe we can make something happen this time. We'll have to wait and see. I'm a little bit afraid of Team Vanilla still because they're just so ferocious every single round. But maybe this is the one where we can just get a win, get back ahead of them. Because you know, we were doing pretty well earlier today, but it's been sort of a train wreck since. Getting all this stuff covered up. Of course, the beginning spots are always the easiest. I might just wanna throw the suction bomb out for a moment. I do see you trying to get around the corner here. Cause they're already trying to get to the, whoa, hey! Ah, oh, so unfortunate, that lined up perfectly for that. I have the Trizuk and everything. I should probably chill out up here or something. Oh no, I start on the other side, so I can only hope that my teammates can, can do that then. I wanna get the Trizuka, and then ooh, try to spot you before you get me. That was good at the least. I'm heading back up here. And as they get closer to stuff, maybe I could just, you know, give them a hard time. There we go. That didn't really do too much, but it could have. All right, see you guys up here. Oh my goodness, you are really good at getting me with that splat roller, but they got stuck after that, so that's at least good. I really need my team to clean that up. It's important that we get every drop of ink, especially areas up there, because they can't reach those areas very easily. So, able to stop things there. I see you over here and I'm terrified. Um, if I could just keep you back that way though, that'd be good. Get some turf covered over this direction. All right, team. If you won't do it, I will. Just cover that stuff up, please. I do see you way over there, so maybe I can get the suction bomb on you. Not quite enough to get a splat, but I can at least fly your teammate. They do get me in response after, but that's okay. Because they haven't covered too much of their own spot, too. I don't know, people are not covering up their own base too much, which sometimes that can be, will make some win or lose. Okay, getting over here then. Um, cool. Let's not deal with that too much, but I do got my Trizuka. I can earn up just like this. I think for this, I'll need to hop up this way. And then, if anybody gets a little bit too close, I can definitely try to get you. Oh my goodness, that last shot, a little bit of a bummer. Uh, whoa, no you don't, no you don't. Okay, try to get you here. They're trying to get up the wall. I've done that mistake many times, but they're trying to get up the wall, but they ended up rolling into it. Oh my gosh. No, 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 oh, I did not see them behind me. That could be an issue. Come on, we need to get back out there as soon as possible. Nobody has gotten the ultra signal just yet, and we need to keep it that way. So we need to rush out here like this, and then try to splat you. Don't you dare get me. Don't you dare! Are you kidding me? This player has got my number. Every single time we combat, it just feels like they get me. Come on, we're at 34%, but it can change around at any moment here with the ultra signal popping back up. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, that got me? I don't know, this was a little bit silly right now. The last few seconds totally falling apart. <laughs> They're really trying to get that. I don't know if we got this one. This was a weird round, for sure. I don't know what to make of it, but I hope we won. I don't know, Team Vanilla, Vanilla might have taken it again. No, we were able to get it. Awesome. So the defensive team, able to make something happen. I got a lot of silvers this time. I just feel like, you know, my attention was very split, though. I don't know, overall, very fun round. Uh, I think we'll go back to just at least one more round of the end zap here, just to see if we can't get one more win with that. But I'm glad we got, you know, some kind of win to break this sort of loss streak that we had been building up. Okay, it's something. Will we be able to level up with that is the question. What do we can see? Not quite. If we can win the next round though, I think we'll be at a good spot too. So let's change our gear just like this. And we did the end zap 89 before. How about we do the end zap 85 this time? Right over here, we'll get the tactic cooler. I think that'll be fun. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep it the 89, just because I like the special and the autobomb a little bit better for this map. So one last round, we are the defending team. It's all gonna be a team and showdown again. <laughs> all right, well, that is how it is. This will be our last round of today. We'll see if we can get one more win. No matter what, it'll be a win for team and chip. So happy to see that, but at least we had some fun with the tricolor battles today, no matter what. So that's always cool cover this stuff up as much as possible. Seems like it definitely is easier to win with the defending team a lot of the time. We don't have the ultra signal popping up just yet. See, I'm just sort of waiting it out. I'll toss over one of the auto bombs there, it looks like. Okay, the ultra signal's up now, so maybe I just get some of those. 
back over here. It looks like the enemy team has been very busy. Uh, trying for it. No, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, a pretty good job of keeping them busy over on this side, but um, I'm in trouble now. Just gonna run over here, get that splat, or somebody did, it wasn't me. And then Autobomb over there, gonna splat you super quick, and just keep moving with it. Maybe I should've just kept to the end zap the whole time, but for right now, we're getting these splats. We're making it work. This autobomb really try, might get me. Ah, it does, because I just made a poor decision here. I thought I could make that jump, but I couldn't have. Darn. Okay, they're trying to get it. Maybe one of our teammates is over there. It, they're not. Nope, no, neither of the four teammates that we have, including me, <laughs> are over there. Okay, got that splat. I'm launching those all over there, but I guess I should be focusing a little bit more on the purple now. That it is, uh, you know, all ultra signaled up and everything, but I get another spot right there, which is pretty nice. I will work on covering this stuff up as much as I can. Ooh. Okay, got it. Whoa, whoa. They're trying for it again, we gotta get over there quick. Somebody is able to stop it. Ah, no, this is too much. Between that and the uh, the wave breaker, <laughs> that was a mess. Okay, the Fleet Bomb is going off, cool to see it. We need to protect that Ultra Signal with everything we've got, but they're really, really trying for it at the moment. I'm able to splat them. Over here, we got another player to take on. Ooh, can I chase you down? No. Um, I did not mean to press that, I pressed my special button. Luckily, it didn't really do anything. Green Team is not really covered up much over there. Let's get over here. There we go, there we go. Gotcha. Oh, no, no, no. Let's just try to cover up all this stuff then as much as I can. Maybe another auto bomb over there. Make sure nobody gets that ultra signal and maybe we can win it that way. I have no clue. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, but I mean, maybe. Oh, I think so. So, I mean, no matter what, it's a team win for Mint Chip, but I'm glad it's us who are winning. <laughs> Very cool, we get Turf Inker, number one ground traveler and super chump user. Not too bad. So, yeah, with that finished up, we got some intense tricolor battle rounds. I think that we'll back out. Maybe we'll shop a little bit. Um, We'll see if there's anything we can buy with our coins at the moment, uh, but. I feel like we did pretty well overall. It was, it was a fun splat fest for sure. Hopefully the results will end up in our favor, but we'll have to wait until next episode to really see that. So right now, let's get over here and use this conch shell. All right, we get fresh catch and zinc model as our two rewards there. And then I want to not do this, but instead go to headgear and just sort of check out what's in the shops for today. Okay, so anything cool here? Looks like we only have a couple of new things even by. We have the uh, five panel cap, looks nice. And then over here, we have the blob mob mask. So I'll get those, I'll figure it out. Switching over here, looks like we have a lot more for the shirts. We got the dark bomber jacket. We might as well buy the more expensive stuff if it's available and we can afford it. So uh, we got the slipstream united. And then uh, the squid star waistcoat. And then finally the pearl tee. Okay. What do we have um, in our next thing over here? We got the Clownfish Basics. They look really cool though. And then more expensive over this way is the Pro Trail Boots. All right, got it. So with all of that done, in fact, we, wait, what what's happened? In fact, we've got a little token of appreciation type thing that we give our coolest regards like you. It's a badge. I hope you get a chance to show it off. Oh cool, so I guess we got a badge um, for Shrimp Kicks. And then lastly, some extra money will be going here to Hotlanders. Um, my har harmony, we got some catalog level ups. Ooh, those are looking good. I like those shoes. Awesome. We also got some table turf battle cards, which will get us the Carbon Ore Deco, Slasher Deco, and Light Tetra Duelies. Nice. Okay, so anything new here that I can actually afford? We have the briefcase for almost 15,000. That's a pricier one. 
um, the stickers I have, so nothing else new besides that. That was definitely fun though. Stay tuned because we'll be playing, of course, more Splatoon in the future just with different weapon showcases and other Splatfests once they happen. It'll be a lot of fun. But right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.